Welcome everybody to the Louisiana Half Marathon Race Breakdown, Episode 1. So today is the day after the Louisiana Half Marathon and I feel mentally and physically exhausted. You know what they say, you run hard, you gotta recover harder. So, definitely uh, will be recovering harder. I will be taking a full week off of every activity um, and just relax, enjoy myself, eat, just take a mental break so I won't burn out on the next training block. But let's go over the race. So, the race started at 7 a.m. Um, so I woke up at 3 a.m. just to get the nutrition in, uh, not have stomach issues on the course. Yeah, that's why I woke up at 3 a.m. And also just to get the body up and you, uh, up and ready. So woke up at 3 a.m. and sat down, ate, relaxed, drank my coffee, and then started activation, stretching around 4, 4.15, 4.30. And then more relaxing, Ian Cliff Barn, and then driving off to the race around 5.30. Getting there at 6, and at 6.20, I had an easy one-mile warm-up run, and went to the starting line at 6.40. From then, I just sat, or actually just stand, stood there, very cold. It was like 45 degrees, which is perfect racing weather by far. That was the best weather ever. It was sunny. It was cold. The wind was harsh at points, but the weather was amazing. 20 minutes later, we took off. Uh, so, me and my buddy Will, we took off at 7 a.m. at the starting line. And we, like I said, uh, you get that race, you get that adrenaline rushing, and you start off pretty fast to get the pace going, and you're just pretty hyped up. So we went about the, we went about one lap around the track in very quick time for what we were shooting for. Uh, I think we were going like 6.15 pace. I'm like, oh God, we got to slow down. We don't want to burn out. We feel good now, but that's just because we all, we are all cracked out and whatnot. So... We ended up slowing it down. We reached a 6.40, one mile. Um, and then we had the bridge to go up. Uh, so the bridge was very tough. And I look at my watch, I'm like, oh, crap. We're going 7.15 pace. Oh, this is not good. Did I already start off way too fast? So many questions were going through my head. But once we started going down that bridge, oh, my God. We got the pace back down. And... We start really cruising. We, my brother, uh, who's sadly injured, was pacing us on the bike, and I had my dad just videoing. But my brother was pacing us on the bike, and he was able to catch up to us uh, pretty soon, around mile two, or I mean mile two and a half, three, and we just literally started cruising. Like we 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 felt so good. Uh, we were talking perfectly fine, as long as we were able to talk. Uh, perfectly fine we were doing a good thing because our goal was to be able to have a conversation with each other to about mile seven uh, or the halfway through the mar race which is 6.55 miles because we don't want to start off too fast and burn out throughout the race we rather negative split and which i did because i negative split from a 648 10k uh, to some type of 10k that averaged me at 642 for the whole entire race but like I said the conversations like we talked a good bit and my brother talked to us we were able to spawn and then my fire hit around we're like I told what um my friend will like uh, the pain starting to come I'm definitely not comfortable anymore I'm starting to, I'm definitely not uncomfortable but I'm definitely not comfortable. That pain is starting to kick in, that lactic acid. And, oh, the hamstrings. That lactic acid in the hamstrings start to really kick in around mile five, mile five and a half. So 
I really started to get worried, but that's the end of the video. So stay tuned for the next one. I know you won't want to miss it, but stay humble, work hard, and be kind. I'll see you tomorrow.